If you're a professional technician, then odds are you've already come up against the Chrysler or FCA or now Stellantis secure gateway module. If you weren't successful in getting past it, then you need to watch this edition of the trainer. This edition of the trainer is brought to you by Autel. For more information on the entire line of Autel diagnostic tooling, visit www.autel.com. In the summer of 2015, two hackers used the Uconnect feature on a 2015 Jeep Cherokee to remotely access the vehicle's CAN network. They were able to control vital functions in a way similar to what we do when we use the bi-directional controls only they weren't just messing with the radio stations or the air conditioning settings. They were actually able to kill the engine while the vehicle was traveling 70 miles an hour down an interstate from 10 miles away. This highlighted a major weakness, not only in the Jeep line, but one common to most major OEs, and that is access to the vehicle through its connection to the internet via the cellular network. Almost immediately, FCA issued a recall to at least temporarily address the situation. A more permanent fix was applied to most of their models in their 2018 model line and across the board in 2019. The addition was the Secure Gateway Module. The Secure Gateway Module is a little different than the conventional gateway modules we're used to. Conventional gateways allow components on different buses to share information with the module acting more as a translator than a security measure. The FCA Stellantis module, though, acts as a blocking device between the vehicle modules and the diagnostic link connector. Any change that would require the technician to control some kind of action is blocked by the secure gateway module. Now, this includes clearing codes, performing bi-directional controls, programming or coding modules, and performing functional tests. There are other manufacturers who are using some form of secure gateway module. Ford, for example, has been using one for some time now, but it's passive in nature, meaning that your scan tool only need be Wi-Fi enabled and updated to the latest software. Others, like the Chrysler line, require a third-party authorization in order for you to gain access. But the functionality there is rather simple. When you attempt to perform a function that is protected by the module, the module sends a secure ID to the scan tool. Then, the tool takes it to the cloud, where the registered username and password have to be entered. If the account entered is legitimate, the cloud sends an unlock code to the scan tool, which then passes it on to the module, allowing access. In the case of Stellantis, the third party is an independent service called AutoAuth.com. The site allows you to set up an account for your shop and to register, under the base plan, up to five approved Wi-Fi enabled scan tools for $50 a year. Higher tier plans are available as well. Most aftermarket scan tools are now FCA compliant, and of course that includes the entire Autel Maxisys line, as well as the MX808 and TS608 service tablets. My MS919, for example, even allows me to access the service site, set up the account, and then access the account right directly on the tool. Once you have your service established, you'll be able to gain access to the rest of the system through the Secure Gateway module and perform all the tasks that you're used to performing. Now, a word of caution here, it is a Wi-Fi based service and there are more to come. So it's very helpful if you ensure that the Wi-Fi that you're using in your shop is not only protected, but strong enough to handle the demand of multiple service requests at once. You may even want to make sure that your service access is separate from your customer's access. 
Here in the U.S., we enjoy a lot of access to factory level service information and tooling that other countries around the world aren't so fortunate in obtaining. And these secure gateway modules that are being added by the various manufacturers could make that a little messy to get to in the future. Now there is something you can do and I'm going to encourage you to do so. I want you to go online to www.nastf.org. That's the National Automotive Service Task Force. This is an independent, nonprofit industry organization that kind of acts as the liaison between the aftermarket and the OEMs. A lot of the services and information that you can receive now is based in large part on their efforts. So join, it costs nothing to join, and lend your voice in support of their efforts on your behalf. Your ability to properly service and repair your customer's vehicles is increasingly dependent on your ability to access factory level service information and resources. And as you can see, not only does Chrysler Stellantis have a secure gateway module, but others do as well with more to come. This is only going to make that challenge a little bit more difficult for you to face as a business owner and as a technician. So I encourage you again, join NASTIF, lend your voice and support, and thanks for watching.